When I first decided to do this series on whatever we want to call it, race realism, uh, Rushdenism, whatever, I went through what the possible pratfalls were of doing this. I understand the controversial nature of this subject and um, its revolutionary possibilities. In other words, if we decide for whatever reason to apply this uh, whatever conclusions we come to in this debate to the real world, what the implications are. Um, well, it, the usual, well, this is just YouTube, went through my mind. Um, plus, I uh, assume that most of my subscribers, or a lot of them, are aware of my personal life, and uh, my wife being Asian, and me being, obviously, white. Uh, I don't really have anything against Asians or white people that I'm trying to pull them down or, or disparage their cultures or anything like this. I made a point in this video of uh, wearing a lovely, comfortable Chinese jacket that I picked up in Shanghai. I've been all over the Far East, and I have nothing but admiration for every one of the cultures that I've seen there. I'm not blind to the, uh, the, uh, the faults of in their cultures either. But they're human beings like anyone else, and everyone has uh, good and evil in them, uh, charming and not-so-charming aspects, and cultures are no different than human beings in that regard. So I didn't think that anyone was going to say that I was going on YouTube to prove that I had something against Asians by criticizing a theory that says that Asian people are pretty smart. Um, but one thing that I didn't quite expect, although there was a little sliver of suspicion that this could happen, was the kind of passive-aggressive response that I got from people, um, some people, who deliberately probed and, or seemed to me, to be deliberately probing for accusations of racism. My own uh, point is that I can't read people's minds, so I'm not going to say that anyone was actually doing this. But it, you know, you get a pretty good sense that somebody is actually trying to get you to do this. And in the comments section of some of them, it got to the point where I realized that there's even a political correct discourse, politically correct discourse, uh, that one has to follow. Because I, I used the term scientific racialism at one point. You're calling me a racist, aren't you? That, that, that's, that's racism. And I said, okay, what, sh what term should I use? How do we get an agreed upon term here for all of this? I guess the term that is asked, uh, people want me to use, is um, race realism. Okay, I'm willing to do that. It's a term that I disagree with, but um, I'm willing to do that in order to actually keep the debate to the points, to the disputable stuff, the stuff that we can actually talk about. But the ad homes, the, um, the personal attacks, the aspersions, and especially, as I say, the passive-aggressive stuff, where people are trying to get me to say that uh, I'm a racist, or that, that trying to get me to say that I believe that anyone who follows uh, this kind of theory is a racist and a Nazi and belongs in the KKK or whatever, um, it was quite enlightening. Uh, I, at one point, I got grilled on what my opinions were about Michael Moore, about uh, about uh, all these Amer American figures. I don't think that the person knew that I'm Canadian, actually, and I'm not all that familiar with Bill Maher, Bill Maher, or uh, uh, or with uh, MSNBC or whatever. But it almost gets to the point where um, you get the sense that the race realists want, in spite of all the protestations to drag this debate into a bunch of personal attacks. Now that's an interesting point, and if you ask me a central one, I watched the famous debate between J. Philippe Rushton and David Suzuki live on television, okay, all those years ago. I was in university and it was, uh, I went to a fairly, surprise, surprise, uh, leftist kind of university, if one has to use such terms. And that debate was all the go, so we all made sure that we watched it. Now, one of the interesting things that happened was a lot of us who actually sympathized with David Suzuki said he brought way too much emotion into this. Uh, he should never have done this, and in a way, he crucified Rushton. Now, 
I'm attempting now to, de to debate this issue without bringing emotions into it, without trying to crucify anybody. And, and to be fair, I have found that there are some people, I suppose, dare I call them race realists, who have actually been willing to, to engage me in a civil manner. Um, and even that, I have to say, I appreciate however much the two of us disagree with each other fundamentally on this issue. But again, the overwhelming trend is extreme sensitivity, picking at terms, saying that you're calling me something that I'm not, and you're a racist. You know that you're a racist. I've been called racist, by the, uh, racist, by the way, by race realists. I'm sure with tongue in cheek, but you understand the, the the passive aggression that I'm referring to here. The Russianites, the race realists, whatever you want to call them, are the ones who are supposed to be the martyrs to free speech here, and yet they or shouldn't say they, a number of people who self-identify, apparently, as such, are just as curious and just as determined to drag this into the uh, mire of personal attacks and emotion as anyone else. Just an observation. Thank you.